hello and welcome back to ethical life media in the previous video i have already talked about the database management system which is an emerging and vital technology nowadays in the art throughout the world and in this video i am going to talk mainly about the reduction techniques or the types of reduction of the er schema or which is also known as converting of er diagram into the tables first of all before beginning the topic let's know what is er diagram as you can see here the er diagram consists of different types of entities and the relationship between them and as in this example it is students and college as entities and studying in either relationship among them and the attributes like college id college name and student id student name and student address are the attributes as you can see in the example and coming to structure uh, the different types of entities are represented in, in in the shape rectangles and ellipses are the shapes used to describe their attributes and and the diamond shape is used to represent the relationship among the entities and the entities and attributes and relationships are also among uh, present in terms of sets also like entity sets and uh, attribute sets and relationship sets also that is entity is basically an object and group of objects it called as in entity set and attribute is are uh, in the same way and relationships also and the relationships are of four types as you can see here it is one to one is the first type and the second comes to one to many and third many to one and the fourth will be many to many so let's begin the our topic converting of er diagram into tables or the reduction schema of er diagram it will be of four types as shown on the screen that is converting of entity sets to tables converting of composite and multi-valued attributes to the tables and representation of weak entity sets as tables and representation of relationship sets as the tables coming to the first conversion that is the converting of entity sets to tables as shown in the screen you can see that the student entity set which is represented by the uh, rectangle shape consists of uh, different attributes like student id student name course and branch in the ellipse shape to form the student relationship table which uh, just put all the attributes of the student entity set into a table that is of single row consisting of four columns as four attributes which will form the student relationship table as shown here coming to the second type that is composite and multi valued attributes the student is the relation entity set entity relation entity set which is represented in the rectangle shape which consists of student id student name course and branch are the main attributes and also the s name and i mean f name and l name that is first name and last name as a composite attributes which are attributes filtered from the attributes so this is the multi variable um, this is also called as multi variable attribute so this can be simply uh, removed or not considered and remaining all other attributes are considered considered and written as shown in the previous uh, student relationship table to form the student relationship table and coming to the third thing that is representation of weak entity set as a table it simply consists of loan and payment which in which loan is a strong entity set and payment is a weak entity set and the identifier relationship which is uh, indicated by the double diamond shape the loan as it is a strong entity set as a loan number and amount as attributes in which loan number is the key attribute and the payment number payment amount and payment data the attributes of the weak entity set as the weak entity set will never associated with associated without a strong entity set then it doesn't have any uh, key attributes so uh, only consider the loan number payment number and payment amount and payment date so it will be formed as a loan relationship table coming to the fourth type 
that is representation of relationship set as table it is mainly of four types that is many to many one to many many to one and one to one uh, so coming to the first type many to many relationship has been showing in the screen it in which the customer id and the loan number are the two attributes are the key simply simply called as the two key attributes of the two at, uh, entity set that is customer and loan are simply considered to form the borrower relationship table as shown and coming to the second and as well as the third thing which we will discuss in this in the same time or are, are using the same example as you can see in the screen like it consists of uh, account and branch as the uh, strong entity sets which have the different attributes like account number balance for the account entity set and the branch code and branch address for the branch entity set in which the account entity set is in total participation with the account branch relationship set and also the branch entity set is in partial participation with the account branch uh, relationship set as you can see in the diagram uh, so to form the relationship table that is of account branch relationship table we simply have to consider the account number that is a key attribute of the uh, total participation uh, account that is account uh, entity set uh, and also the both the attributes of the total participation uh, entity set and also only the key entities are the key attribute of the uh, partial participation entity set so the relationship table of the account branch is formed right now